it's Michael and I've got an exciting product to talk to you guys about today and it is from Go Stick Products LLC and what it is something I've been looking for for a long time a goodie bag no just kidding it is a flagpole mount suction cup mount that goes on your window of your RV or any metal and it works awesome I just saw this at the Sarasota Tiffin rally a couple weeks ago a lot of RVs had it it was like 20 mile an hour winds and some of them were either had the two or three um, flag mount kits and they were flying like crazy no issues at all 100% made in America comes with your choice of one two or three um, flagpole mounts and the flagpoles and an American flag. So, how this works is real simple. Take this protective cover off, wipe down the area you want to put this on with a damp cloth, here as well. Pump this bad boy down till the orange no longer shows. You got a good, then that means you got a good seal and as long as you don't see orange, you're good. So if you're gonna be at a campsite for a while and you're worried about this thing falling off, just walk by every now and then as long as you don't see orange, you're fine. If you see a little bit of orange, just pump it until you don't. So like I said, this comes in one, two, and three flag mount um, options. And the cool thing is, this base plate is the same for all three. So you, you're just buying these extra mounts and they're held on with four screws. Just that simple. So if you bought the single flag, you would just put that right here, mount it, and you're done. And then later, if you wanted to upgrade to uh, two flags, well, move it over and you got your two flags three flags boom put it there just that simple so that's how this bad boy works so let's see what else came with it i actually bought this nice flag case from amazon and i'll have a link for it in the description below because it holds everything but the suction cup mount so what you also what you what it comes with is two these are no tangle flag poles, so the flag won't wrap around. And they're two, and it's in two pieces. So this is the one piece. And here's the other piece. And all you do is it just screws in. And you're done. Just that easy. The American flag already came pre installed. So we'll put that on there. And one of the most important things I bought with this kit is a light. This light is powered by AC, it's not a solar light. The solar lights I've seen and used in the past, they're not very bright and sometimes they don't last very long. And if they don't get a good charge during the day, they don't work at all. So this is AC powered. This light can mount right here on this nut. Or you can just, if you're putting this on, if you have a class A or a, or a class B or C um, drivable RV, or if you're putting this on your truck, um, you can just lay this light in the dash. It also comes with a remote control. So you can change the colors um you can change the intensity and this is an led light 10 watt led light so that puts out a lot of power so what we're going to do because i bought the two flag kit like i said so that means i need another flag so what is the other flag i got you asked well that's real simple being in the air force for over 33 years i got an air force flag and i'll have a link to this particular flag in the description as well because it's a really nice one and it really wasn't that expensive and it's not this is actually embroidered on embroidered on material it is not um, a stencil so that's nice most important thing to do is make sure that you are putting the flag on correctly and just a simple clip Simple clip. So now 
we have the bottom mount. Bottom mount is a little different. It screws through the um, the eyelet. We'll put this guy on here at the bottom. And we'll screw it down. And that also holds it in place so the flag stays out. So that's a good deal. Screw on the pole. And now we have one flag. So let's have a quick talk with the inventor of this, and after that, we'll put it on the car. So let's go meet the inventor. Hi, everybody, this is Michael, and I am here with my good new friend Jody. And why am I here talking to you? Well, because we've got some of the coolest pieces of equipment you never knew you needed till you stepped into this booth. Okay, and what is that? We have a line of suction cup and vacuum cup accessories that require no drilling, no screws. You simply stick it up to the outside of your RV using either suction cups or vacuum cups. And the idea is to get this stuff out so you can use it and not put a lot of time into getting it put up into place. The whole idea with our products is using these vacuum cups, you can easily put an item up literally in seconds. So if you want a light by your side door, it takes that long to put it up. Uh, our whole inspiration came when we started the company back six, seven years ago. We had a friend that bought a Tiffin Breeze and he wanted a TV mounted to the side, okay. but he didn't want to drill any holes. So my partner Wayne and I came up with a way of putting the unit on with a suction cup. And at the time, it was really jerry-rigged together. So a couple of our other friends wanted one, so we built a few more. And then we started getting calls from people that we didn't know asking if they could buy one. So there, before you knew it, we were in business. We redesigned the entire product with this plate that is universal for all kinds of TVs. And the vacuum cup, which simply goes up onto the side of the camper by putting in position and pumping it down until you can't pump it anymore. And this cup has 210 pounds of force once it's on, so that it really holds securely. You can put it up to a 42-inch flat-screen TV on this mount and feel very confident about it holding up. The idea is the user will occasionally look uh, behind the TV and make sure this plunges down. As long as it's not coming up showing any of the orange, you know it's on there rock solid. That's why you can feel confident about putting a $500 TV on this thing if you wanted to. It's then simply just a matter of Put it in place and drop it in on site. The nice thing too is if the sun's coming in washing your TV out, you can move it into a shady area real easily. Or if you've got more people over to watch a game, you can put it up higher on your RV. So that was our very first product. And after that, we uh, started looking at what else we could put on vacuum cups in order to make it a little more convenient when we're out in the heat especially. So we came up with the fan, the 60 inch oscillating fan. It was on the same type of mount as the TV essentially so that you can move this fan around in different places on your RV. Uh, the new fan that we're using is a three-speed fan that has a control string at the bottom for oscillating. And what's nice about this is you can put this fan up really high on the side of your RV and then tilt the fan head down low. So, so you have a ceiling fan. You, if you've got a lot of no CMs in, it really is nice that it blows them out of the way for you. And then just put it up in position again. So that was the second item we brought out to the okay. market. And the third was the security light, because so many times we travel with motorcycles or golf carts and you want to be able to keep an eye on your stuff when it's sitting outside at night. Um, this unit was on with that vacuum cup. It runs off of three B-cell batteries. Uh, it uses the Cree LED, which means it's very efficient using the electric. So a pair of or set of batteries will typically last about a year's worth of intermittent camping use. And like I say, this goes on with that cup so you can move it around if you're trying to, to uh, uh, take it around to the side where you're grilling. It's easy enough to move it so you can see your grill better or just keep it by your door. So as you come in at night, the light will just light up the area as you walk up to it. Okay. And then uh, the next product we brought out was our towel bar. And the idea that 
just a nice little neat place to be able to hang your towels when you come back from the beach. And goes on with two of the uh, mechanical suction cups, one at each end. Uh, from there, we uh, started making flag mounts. And our original flag mount, which you're still seeing, had a suction cup up lower, up, upper and lower cup. And they were great, but we wanted to design it uh, to be able to use on windshields, because a lot of people have been using their flag mounts on windshields. So we brought out the second generation, which is this unit here. We've sold these the last two and a half years and have been a great, great flag mount. It has two suction cups with lever actions. And the idea is that these cups pivoted a little bit so that you could put it on a slightly curved windshield or a bull nose of a fifth wheel trailer. So we were really proud uh, after years of people asking us if we have a flag mount that could hold two flags. We brought out just last month at the Tampa Super Show, we introduced our newest mount, which we call the tri-flag mount. And this is the unit here. It's available as a single, a double, or even a triple flag mount. So you can have three flags. So if you want to have your American flag, your military flag, and maybe your Ohio State flag, <laughs> oh wait, <laughs> you can do that too. Uh, and then we also have an optional uh, light available for it that's 110 volt, rather than being a solar powered light. You can plug this in and know that it's going to light up your flag entirely all night long. And it operates with a, uh, uh, a remote control so you can turn it on and off from inside your coach. Um, the nice thing about the flag mount is you can start off with the single and if later on you want to upgrade it. We have the upgrade kit that allows you to put another flag or two on it. So you can turn it into a two or a three very easily. Okay. The, uh, we, we also brought out this tablet phone mount here, which is the vacuum cup style mount that has both a tablet mount here that you put a, a, a iPad tablet in or, or Android tablet. And this also comes with a cell phone head, which is a little bit smaller, just interchanges. So you can use it now for your cell phone. Okay. The nice thing about this mount is when you put it up in your camper, I put mine up on the side window of my bus and uh, I'll put the tablet on it and I'll run uh, Google Maps or Waze going down the road using the tablet. It's really adjustable. And you loosen all three of these joints up. You can essentially put this wherever you need to have the tablet pointed. <laughs> and it's just a matter of tightening the joints back up and locking you into position. Very nice. Another item which we came up with about six years ago was the mount for the Genturi exhaust stack. Uh, a lot of people go camping, dry camping, where they're forced or required to use the, the Genturi uh, on their uh, camper. And Genturi provides a bungee cord style mount for it, which you know certainly holds it, but it also pulls it towards your camper. Our, our mount <coughs> uses a mechanical suction cup, and when you squeeze this in, that's what causes the suction to take place. <coughs> and then you simply clamp this around the center section of the Genturi tube, and then you put it up into place, push in on it, squeeze the handle, and it really does a nice job of holding the Genturi tube up. So, so I, that's the majority of the items that we, we make. So we also do a antenna mount for Techno RV. Oh, cool. <coughs> this is a another mechanical suction cup. It allows you to put, in this case, their, or their Wi-Fi extender can easily replace on the outside of your camper up high. And because this stuff only takes seconds to, to apply, we will spend more time enjoying camping. So, uh, uh, I'm seeing you got all these things on the door here, so and I don't see any scratches on that. Paint. No, no, this and, yeah, I, this and I assume you use this everywhere you go, so this has been well correct. used over six years. So, we've been using this door, all the shows, so and, no worries uh, about the the <coughs> vacuum cup no. doing any type of damage. No, and, if anything, because we tell people to put them on damp with a, with a wet cloth, mm -hmm. so you might get a little watermark that you can wax okay. off easy enough, but okay. uh. Say stuff is really, really meant to go on easily and, go. and not leave marks. And besides showing up at shows, uh, I, you do have a website, correct? Right? Can you order off the website? Yes, okay. ghostik products.com. And uh, 
We're, we're also a very small company. There's just two couples that own the company. Okay. My, my partner Wayne here, his wife Molly, and my wife Grace. So we're the ones that do the assembly in our in our garages and living rooms, and uh, uh, we're always available. Uh, our phone numbers are right on our literature. So. Uh, we, we're out there. We want people to have confidence when they buy our products and know that we're here to support the product after the sale. So if I call that number on the sticker, more than likely one of the four people you just named that's is going to answer the phone. Okay, well that's awesome. I mean, because if they do have an issue, then I know who to call. That's talk exactly, to. exactly. It. We want we want you to be bragging to your friends about our products because that's that's how uh, more people find out about the stuff and uh, want you to have fun using it. Is there any concerns about you know, high winds with with your product? Just like you wouldn't leave your awning out in high winds you know if, if it gets to be that windy we recommend taking the flag down yeah. okay right. we've had them out in some pretty strong winds but still you want to you know it's just safer not to leave them out in, in hurricane force winds absolutely well thank you for your Mike, time. It was a pleasure um, so nice you guys to visit us we're really thank looking you. forward to um using your product and showing it off as we travel about super super and uh don't forget put that ohio state flag up <laughs> oh, <H. I> -O. <laughs> thank you all right thanks Okay, as you can see, the scenery's a little different here now. Um, this obviously isn't the same RV park we filmed the rest of this video in. Uh, the end of the video, we shot one good take and one bad take, and I deleted the bad take. I mean, I'm sorry, I deleted the good take. So we're reshooting here at our home, and it's a lot warmer here. It was 56 degrees a couple of days ago. Today, it is almost 90. So let's get this done pretty quickly so we're going to get this flagpole up so the first thing we need obviously is to put the mount up so let's go grab the mount and take the protective cover off i've got a wet rag right here so first thing we're going to do is we'll just wipe this off real quick because we got the protective cover on it so it keeps it clean but make sure there's no hairs on it or anything so i'm going to put this bad boy right here and you'll stay there so again we got the orange we get we need to keep pumping until the orange is gone so we're going to put this guy here and just start working it and it's going to take about 20 to 25 times and you can just pump it as fast as you can and then once we're on we're on as you can see i installed the light here the electric light and i'll run that cord through there so it's very low profile and I actually have a um, dusted on timer an extension cord I can put that on there so the light will automatically come on also there's a remote control for this light that come with it where I can change the colors um, I can make it actually do a um, where it scrolls through different colors I really don't want to do that on the American flag so I just want to have a good white light and that's what we got right now so let's get some flags Again, this flag case I bought off of Amazon. Link is in the description. First flag we're going to put up is the American flag. I'm sorry. First flag we're going to put up is the Air Force flag. And the reason I'm putting up the Air Force flag first is very simple. The American flag should always be above any other flag. So if I put the American flag in first, obviously, while I'm putting in my second or third flag, for at least a brief moment in time, it would be higher than the American flag. So I always put the American flag in last for that reason. Now, if you noticed, a little bit of wind today, and these are, um, I can't remember what they actually call the name on these poles, but they're basically, they won't, um, the flag won't get caught up. So the flag just unrolled itself, because as you can see, this, see, I expand. So this is how easy this is to put up. Just stick it in there. Tighten the screw. And we're done. So let's go get the other one. Now, one thing I'm going to have to do is, while I love this Air Force flag, it is actually too heavy. Not too heavy for the mount, but too heavy in comparison with this American flag. So it throws it off balance a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and put this pole on. You 
and this one doesn't want to be cooperating so we'll just go ahead and let it run floral yeah because the flags are different what vastly different weights because the flags are vastly different weights they will not um, balance out very well so i can either get a heavier american flag which i think i have one in my garage so let me put that one up or get a lighter air force flag the weight of the flag really isn't an issue as far as the suction cup goes and or anything because this thing can hold you know 60 plus mile an hour winds you don't want to have, obviously have your flags out there and and that kind of went for very long but if you left them out and the wind gust came up you should be fine and that's just how easy it is to install the ghost stick um, flag mounts again this is a two mount system probably going to end up getting the third one so i can have a third flag but thank you for watching this video if you like what you saw please consider um, hitting that subscribe button down below give us a thumbs up give us a like <laughs> So if you like what you saw here in this video and you want to see more and you want to know when more is coming, first of all, you need to subscribe to us 100% free. Hit that ring notification. So if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. <laughs> so if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to us, please hit that red subscribe button down there and right next to it, ring that bell. Go ahead and click on the bell and hit all. That way you'll know when we go live, drop new videos, all of our new content comes out. Give us a good comment below. If you have one of these or a different solution, we'd like to hear about it. If you have any questions about this solution, um, throw, them in, throw them in the comments below. We'd love to hear about those as well. And consider sharing this out with your friends who might be looking for an easy way to um, display their flags of whatever kind they want. Now again, this thing will work on RVs, I work on boats, work on trucks, work on anything with, gla with a glass or a metal surface that'll hold a suction cup. So that's that easy. Thanks a lot. Be safe, and I hope to see you guys down the road.